I heard the saying one time, it's if you're not giving this world your best, what world are you saving it for? And I always think about that one, you know, so just be your best, whatever you're doing. That's with sport, with, with your work, with everything. Just give it, give it everything you can, and just, that's all you can ever do. Um, a lot of my motivation comes from within. And I always want to take myself out of my comfort zone and get better every day. And I, again, that's with sports, um, but especially with, with regards to playing for Dublin. You know, it's a very competitive environment, and uh, you know, to be the best you can be, and to be able to give the team the best, you have to continuously take yourself out of your comfort zone. And I think I do that time and time again. So uh, I, I never rest on my laurels, and I'm just trying to try and improve my game every time I take to the field. Well, I suppose it's quite topical, but at the moment, Conor McGregor is, is obviously at the top of his game, and I suppose he's, he's not only inspiring me, but he's inspiring uh, the nation. He's nearly inspiring the world at this rate. Like you know, the progress he's made in his career over the last number of years. Um, for I, I wasn't always a UFC fan, but I now I'm gripped by the story that goes with him. But the fact that what he does inside the octagon, um, you know, and you can see with the training um, that he does and the shape that he's in. And the way he can move, you can see he's just he's a guy who's really at the top of his game. And even though he's at the top of his game, he's always trying to get better. So the way I hear him speak about even his mindset, the way he approaches his training and stuff, is someone that I you know you look up to in that regard. So he's at the top of his game, you know, and I always want to try to get to the top of my game. So um, yeah, he'd be a guy that I look up to. The most influential people in my career would be my parents, I suppose, you know, they're the, they're the ones who are bringing me to training um, right up from the age of five and six, you know, they support me all the way through. They're keen GA fans themselves, so, you know, I suppose without their real kind of drive and without their you know, passion for me to play the game and to bring me to, bring me to games and stuff, uh, I wouldn't be where I am today, so I owe them a lot and, uh, you know, I'm delighted now that they get to enjoy, you know, um, coming and watching the dubs, no matter where we play across the country and, you know, they really do enjoy watching me play for Dublin, so yeah, my parents. Um, the biggest accomplishment for me is uh, being a part of a team that's won three All-Irelands in the last five years. Um, I suppose I've, since I've been a little boy, I wanted to play for Dublin. That's all I ever dreamed of, and you know, to one day walk up the stands at Hogan Stand and, and lift Sam McGuire. And I was lucky enough to, to do that on three occasions, um, but I couldn't say which one, any one was better than another. So just the fact that we won three All Irelands in the last five years. My favourite moment in sport history, I suppose, will be 2011 when we when we won the All Ireland for the first time in 16 years. Um, I suppose you know I'd been on a team for, for five years previous to that, whereby we had very little success. It was difficult, um, and we were really good teams that we were on. But just to get that taste of glory um, in 2011 for the first time was a moment that you know I'll never forget.